ओके जी सो आफ्टर द डेथ ऑफ जुल्फिकार अली भुट्टो इन द ईयर 1988 बेनजीर भुट्टो बिकेम द प्राइम मिनिस्टर नाउ वन थिंग टू नोट हियर इज दैट बेनजीर भुट्टो हैज बिकेम द प्राइम मिनिस्टर ट्वाइस ऑफ पाकिस्तान फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल जी बी शी बिकेम द प्राइम मिनिस्टर इन द ईयर 1988 एंड शी रिमेन्ड द प्राइम मिनिस्टर टिल 1990 एंड लेटर शी वाज रिमूव्ड देन अगेन शी बिकेम द प्राइम मिनिस्टर इन द ईयर 1993 देन Uh, she remained the prime minister till uh, 1996 and later she was removed so this is about the first and the second tenure of benazir bhutto first of all we are going to refer to the first uh, tenure of benazir bhutto so what happened is that after the death of ziaullah gulam ishaq khan he became the president and he asked benazir bhutto to form an alliance with other political parties and to uh, become the prime minister so benazir bhutto who is the daughter of zulfikar ali bhutto became the prime minister benazir bhutto ne prime minister bante hi basically what she did was ke zulfikar ali bhutto had withdrawn membership from commonwealth countries zulfikar ali bhutto had withdrawn membership from Amer- from the american agreement Cito and Cento. First of all, what she did, she made Pakistan the member of Commonwealth countries. The first step that she took was that she made Pakistan the member of Commonwealth countries. She tried improving relations with America. She tried improving relations with the UK. Okay, and she also introduced various reforms, but her reforms were not so much successful. October nineteen eighty eighty nine, Pakistan rejoined Commonwealth. So first of all, what she think uh, the first thing that she did was that she released hundreds of political prisoners. All the prisoners who were arrested by Ziaulak were now released. She announced housing schemes for the poor as well as rural electrification. Rural electrification means provision of electricity to the rural areas. She lifted the restrictions on trade union activities, and she said that. Uh, basically trading can easily be easily be done in the country she tried promoting trade in the country she also said that basically if the people the businesses they want to form their own union for the protection of their rights then those unions can easily be established she also established first women's bank which was opened in pakistan previously it was not there a separate ministry was formed for the women women were recruited in police and were appointed as high court judges acha inse pehle jo hai women were not allowed to be recruited in police women were not allowed to be recruited as high court judges and the women were usually not recruited in important civil services positions so she tried improving the relation uh, improving the position of women in pakistan she visited usa in 1989 and it resulted in economic aid to pakistan over 400 million acha pressler act lagi hui hai abhi bhi the pressler act is still intact but now the since the president has approved economic assistance for pakistan so it can be given to pakistan to pakistan ko de di gayi hai theek hai and it, it was of 400 million and that was just because of benazir bhutto however there was another political party and that was called as iji islami jamhuriya ittehad which was led by nawaz sharif he actually opposed the government of benazir bhutto and she had to face a lot of confrontations with nawaz sharif during the first year of her tenure that is she became the prime minister in the year 1989 around start of 1989 during 1989 suddenly the people of parliament launched a no confidence movement against her wherein the people of parliament said that we have no trust in her becoming the prime minister and we want her to be removed so people voted against her people of the parliament voted against her and she was saved by uh, a few votes only 
otherwise she would have removed immediately out of her tenure because the people were of old mindset the people were of traditional mindset and the what the what the people thought was that basically a woman cannot be a good leader a woman cannot be a prime minister so this is why uh, the people were thinking ke benazir bhutto uh, could not rule successfully moreover uh, she uh, tried improving relations with india as well and uh, during her tenure if we talk about reforms so no particular reforms are going to be observed during her tenure only she has rep- represented pakistan in sarc if you have seen here i think that was the first thing that she did was during her tenure ke basically pakistan was represented pakistan rejoined commonwealth and pakistan was represented in sarc however during her time no economic reforms were observed inflation and unemployment during her tenure it increased very much drug trafficking jo ki afghan miracle ke baad start hui thi ki due to the afghan miracle a lot of afghan refugees started coming into pakistan and a lot of afghan refugees started bringing in drugs and weapons into pakistan so during her tenure drug trafficking increased even nepotism increased during her tenure acha ji so during her tenure there was the growth of the separatist movement which was the no confidence movement initiated against her and uh, the people wanted her to be removed there were problems in kashmir as well which we are going to discuss so she tried improving the problems with india however the relations were not so much improved but uh, it was the effort of uh, benazir bhutto we can say that she tried uh, to improve the relations and she tried ke the re- pakistan uh, should be represented internationally so if we talk about the foreign policy of benazir bhutto to these two things are actually the foreign policy of benazir bhutto these things are actually related to uh, the domestic policies of benazir bhutto this is also related to domestic policy moreover uh, the party the political party pakistan people's party wo- of benazir bhutto was blamed for corruption people started blaming benazir bhutto for corruption her husband asif ali zardari was uh, arrested for corruption of various kinds and the people started blaming her ki bhai uh, she has not done something good for the country moreover she was having differences with president isaha khan over judicial appointments what happened that she wanted judges of her own choice to be appointed in high court however ghulam isaha khan who was the president he wanted to appoint judges of his own choice so uh, this turned out to be a difference of opinion between isaha khan and benazir bhutto and isaha khan was not happy with her moreover uh, at the time of appointment of army generals she was having difference of opinion again with the with the president isaha khan so isaha khan was uh, not happy with her and the people wanted her to be removed and uh, the people were thinking ki bhai uh, she was not a good leader actually uh, 119 votes were needed to remove her from the uh, seat of prime minister if the people wanted her to be removed from the seat of prime minister 119 votes were needed however the people of parliament were able to cast 112 votes 107 votes so she was saved by 12 votes only if 12 more votes more were casted then benazir bhutto would not have been able to survive so this was the second major issue uh, which was faced by benazir bhutto during her tenure that the no confidence movement started although she got saved but her government was now turning really weak and the people were not happy with her acha ji talking about just after she became the prime minister benazir bhutto invited the indian prime minister rajiv gandhi to islo it was the first time that an indian prime minister visited pakistan 
and two agreements were signed with india agreement between india and pakistan not to bomb each other's nuclear installations india and pakistan will hold up terms of simla agreement yani simla agreement do you guys remember what was the simla agreement the simla agreement was signed by zulfikar ali bhutto that by india was to release all the political prisoners of the wars and pakistan was not to raise the kashmir issue over any international forum so benazir bhutto because the relations between india and pakistan were not good at that time so benazir bhutto she signed an agreement with uh, rajiv gandhi and she said ke basically we are going to continue with the simla agreement and we will not bomb upon you and you should not be bombing us acha ji however public opinion in both the countries was against compromise बेनजीर भुट्टोज ओपोनेंट्स क्रिटिसाइज के भाई ये इन्होंने क्या किया है तो पाकिस्तान को बेचने की बातें कर रही शी इज ट्राइंग टू सेल पाकिस्तान दैट इज नॉट गुड एंड पीपल वर नॉट हैप्पी विद बेनजीर भुट्टो दे सेट के वी वी नीड टू फाइट अगेंस्ट इंडिया फॉर कश्मीर एंड व्हाट इज दिस बेनजीर भुट्टो डूइंग शी शुड बी डूइंग दिस स्टफ द डिक्लाइन ऑफ बेनजीर भुट्टो स्टार्टेड इन द ईयर 1990 व्हेन शी वाज फेसिंग ऑपोजिशन फ्रॉम अनदर पॉलिटिकल पार्टी व्हिच वाज कॉल्ड एज द मुहाजिर कौमी मूवमेंट इन द ईयर 1990 शी स्टार्टेड फेसिंग ऑपोजिशन फ्रॉम हर सो एक्चुअली इन द प्रीवियस टाइम मुहाजिर कौमी मूवमेंट एंड पाकिस्तान पीपल्स पार्टी हैड अग्रीड टू वर्क इन सिंध बट बोथ हैड अ वेरी डिफरेंट डिफरेंट अप्रोच टू पॉलिटिक्स सो इट टर्नड आउट टू बी अ फ्रीक्वेंट वायलेंस बिटवीन द टू पॉलिटिकल पार्टीज and this resulted in an incident which was called as the pakka kila incident what was the pakka kila incident pakka kila operation took place in 1990 when the police raided an old fort in hyderabad which was called as pakka kila in suspension of criminals hiding in it there were some criminals of muhajir qaumi movement which were hiding in an old fort in hyderabad which was called as pakka kila so the police raided that fort and arrested all the criminals who were hiding in it and the police opened fire and killed all the supporters of mqm who were hiding with it and there were women and children as well who were hiding in that uh, pakka kila they were killed as well it is reported that women came out with quran on their heads to stop the shooting but they were unable to do, do so after this incident violence started in karachi in hyderabad this is the event of 1990 and 1991 there were severe atrocities in uh, karachi in hyderabad that time actually so when these uh, atrocities started ck violence started the political parties including the party of nawaz sharif including the party of uh, this uh, mqm mohajir qaumi movement became against benazir bhutto so gulam isha khan who is the president because he was also having problems with benazir bhutto because they were having differences over the appointment of the president and other stuff he uh, used the eighth amendment and do you guys remember what was the eighth amendment the eighth amendment had been imposed by zia ul haq which was that the president was empowered to remove the prime minister whenever he wanted if he found the prime minister to be corrupt so he dismissed benazir bhutto and her government the reasons he gave was the violence and the law and order situation corruption nepotism and incompetence what he said ke basically benazir bhutto was incompetent corruption was there during her time illegal weaponry and drug trafficking was going on during her time a lot of violence was going on during her time so he said ke basically she was incapable to be Uh, a strong prime minister this is why gulam isha khan removed her from power immediately this event in history is called as the pakka kila incident so a question can come in the examination for four marks asking you ke what was the pakka kila incident if a question comes in the examination for four marks you are required to write down this Uh, stuff related to the pakka kila incident moreover uh, for benazir bhutto if we talk about the question so usually a question comes for 14 marks pertaining to both the tenures of benazir bhutto so once we are done with the second tenure of benazir bhutto then i'll be giving you a question only this is 
the question which is related to uh, the first tenure of Benazir Bhutto. So if we talk about the first tenure of Benazir Bhutto, we have the domestic policies, which was the economic decline. We have the foreign policies. We have the international agreements, which are going to be a part of the foreign policy. And we have the decline of Benazir Bhutto. Decline includes uh, the difference of opinion with Saha Khan and decline includes the Pakka Kila incident. These two are the things which are going to be included in the decline of Benazir Bhutto.